Hello, positive tunnel visioners. Parenting and having patience is something that is really important to have. As a parent, you have to have a lot of patience. Sometimes it can be a little, but sometimes it has to be really stretched out. And at those times that it's happening, you can't let the anger get there. You can't let the frustration happen. And you can't let anything else cloud your mind. You have to have a clear head. And in advance, you have to know that sometimes you have to have more patience. Your child could be a really messy child and you ask him to clean up and he doesn't want to clean up or she doesn't. And no matter what you're trying, they just don't want to do it. And that's the time, one of the techniques that you can do is take a step back. Just wait and let the time go by at that moment. It can feel like an eternity, but it might be only a few minutes. And after you gather yourself, then you can approach what's going on so that you can help and clean up. And when they see you cleaning up, the child will want to model you. You want to have them mimic what you do. And when you do good habits, they'll do the same thing. But if it, you did instead of pay, instead of having that patience, you were yelling and screaming or trying to rush the things, then they might imitate you. And even when you're not around, they might do it and you might not know this and then it'll happen in their life. Or when they grow up, they'll do the same thing. So instead, show them the good habits, the good traits to have, and that'll build character in them. And then the other thing that you can do with having patience is that it's not just always taking a step back and waiting. Instead, you can send the good vibes and go, okay, it's fine. We'll, we'll just wait. We'll, we'll, we'll wait until it cleans itself. You could even joke around. You can do something that gets them out of that frame of mind of, I don't want to clean. I don't want to do anything. So that can change their mind. It could be anything that takes them out of that moment of being in that way of, that one way of thinking, and then it can switch them into another way so that you can both clean together. And sometimes the child might need to take a break so that you can assess the situation and clean up. Now, there's another thing is, is that the child might always eat and then wipe themselves with their hands on their shirt. I mean, another messy thing. But the thing is, is that you gotta keep on pointing it out to them. It's the same thing with biting the nails. You gotta keep on pointing out to them because they don't even realize it. It's a habit that they're doing and it just becomes an habitual habit and they don't even realize it. It's not on a conscious level. It's on a like subconscious level they could be nervous, it could just be a habit, just something they do when they do something. And by pointing it out and not yelling, but having the patience, it happened once. You tell them again, it happened twice, three times, four times. It might be till the millionth time until it stops. It's a re repeated thing that you have to keep on saying over and over again. The same thing with uh, maybe keeping their toys in their bedroom or Let's say they have to uh, go to brush their teeth at night and they say, I don't want to brush my teeth. I'm not doing it. And you're like, but you have to. You, and then you got to go to bed. Sometimes you might not want to tell them about what they have to do later on in the bed. There might be too many things. Instead, you might go, I'm going to brush my teeth. Who's ready? And then and uh, here I go. Are you coming or not? And then, or it might be, hey, I'm going to brush my teeth. First one there wins if you're if you're in the race too. And then you, your child might run there to go brush their teeth. They want to be involved. They want to they they want to win sometimes. They want a competition. 
There's lots of things that you can do to have it where you have the patience or to make it where you don't have to wait as long. So it's not a, a long stretched out wait. And by being patient, it could be, hey, you got to go to bed and they don't want to go to bed and then you can make it a competition or you could say, let's just lie, just lie in the bed, just see how it feels. Isn't that a comfortable bed? It's so soft. Actually, it's it, this pillow and you can even talk about what the pillow is made out of and what, what the cover is and, and, and you know, a, a story you can make up. And by going over something, they can then get involved again or they can understand what's going on and sometimes you have to tell them hey i'm going to bed too i got or i got to do things also we and explain to them what the responsibilities are or explain to them at every time at this time at night this is the time that we go to bed that's the time you got to go to bed please you get it's in nice ways it's a nice tone that you do it's it's always always good 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 vibes that you're sharing and this will encourage them and and bring them to what you need to do because if they if they don't get it to bed on time then it's going to throw them off the next day they might even be sleeping in their classes or they might be not doing their responsibilities or fall, fall behind in, in school so you need to have the patience and the understanding of what can be that trigger to get them to do something and sometimes it's it's doing a little game with them so to to get them to do it it could be something that and gets them motivated and what we do as positive tunnel vision is we crank up the positivity we don't crank down the positivity instead of having the negativity come in we have the positivity and the light come out so that when we're parenting and we're having a situation that's really you know frustrating and hard and 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 just not going the way you want it to that's when we have to have the patience and we spoke about ways of doing this is one is we could step back two is we get involved and maybe make a joke three we make a game out of it we do something we 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 make them part of something. Uh, four is that we we show our love and care, and there's many more things that you can do and think of, and that will make it a great relationship between you and your child, and it'll be a character you know trait that they'll have inside them. Then they'll have the patience with their child next when when they're going to be a parent. Or they'll have the patience with other people in their daily activities or kids that they're with. So these are great things in life. Positive tunnel visioners. Like this video, share it, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye.